Hi, I'm Mike Haddock, and today I'm going to do a couple samples. Uh, this is the round sample. Uh, this is a sample of a flexible stone. The company is called Dell Lab Flexible Stone, and they asked me if I was interested in doing a video. So they sent me a couple samples, and they did the video. So I'm going to show you the video, how I did it, and how I approached it, and what I used. And then at the end, I'll give you a couple comments. So here we go. I'm doing a sample with this stone, which you do, you, you put the stone on and then you, you peel it off. So I'm going to start at the bottom, but because it's a small sample, I'm going to make a smaller stone. Just like that. So this will be my first stone, and this right here is where I'm going to go with my tin set. So I'm going to get my tin set. Right here, put it on right to that mark. So I got my pin set and I put it on right to that mark, and then I stick it on just like you're doing tile. Now, my next stone is going to go up here because that's the look I want. I want smaller pieces right there. So same thing, I get my tin set and put it on. Let me get my stone. And I stick it on. I'm really concerned about my joints. I want my joints to look a little different. I know I want it to look more like stonework. So what you do is you keep turning these until you get it to where you want. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna get my scissors, cut that piece out. Maybe I'll take this little notch out just like that. So that's the look I want for down there. Same thing, trace it out, get my thin set, and I'm going to put it on, just like that. Now I'm continuing on and the stone comes in different sizes, but I don't like this because it's going to be too long. I want to break this line. So I find this stone, but I'm going to cut this off right there. So I'll be a little happier with that. This is just a pair of shears. You can actually use scissors if you want. That works good. That's the way my stone is going to look there. So, same thing. I keep going with my tin set. Thing is, you see how it gets messy and real stone it gets messy. Well, that's why it has the coating on it, so that doesn't happen. So now I broke my line there. I want to do something different up above. So I'm looking around. I find a stone. I think I want to do something like that. So that's where my joint's going to be there, and right there. So I'm going to cut them off. Just like this. Now when you gotta do this, you, you know you gotta order a little extra stone. That's what I want my joint to look like. So over here now I'm gonna cut one for there. I'm gonna cut it like even with that. And this is gonna go just like that. 
So I know it's going to go there. That's where my tin set has to go. In and get my thing and get it in there good like that. And get this one here. And get it in there good like that. Now don't forget this is just a sample like that. If I want to get my uh, joint perfect, I don't have to go crazy with it because don't forget stone is a backdrop. That's okay. I'm happy with that, so now I'm going to put that in. Remember I told you don't worry too much about making a mess. It's going to happen. And it's going to go in there just like that. So I put the piece on just like this. I'm happy with my joints. I'm put that right in there like that. Now to make it look real, I'm just going to get a rubber glove and just put it in there just like if you're doing real stone see that you go right to the edges just with your finger you can, you can afford to be sloppy because this whole thing peels right off I'm just getting a regular uh, sponge like this and I'm going over the sides because I want it to look like a real cement joint and when you do a real cement joint and a real stone job that's basically what it looks like so what I'm doing too is I'm just going over my joints if I see any bad joints I just touch it up a little bit we're back the next day and we're looking at our joints and if you ever use thin set you'll notice once in a while that the joints get a little crack in them. So you just get a little more. What it does is they're shrink cracks. So you just go over it one more time, any bad spot, before you take the covering off. Just like that. So then we come out here and we start peeling away our covering. That's going to show us our stone. This product we're going to go around a round sample. I'm just going to use regular scissors to show you it's pretty simple how to do it. Our creation idea. And because I'm going around, I'm going to get myself a heat gun. That makes it bend very easier. Now I heated that up, it got real flexible. I'm just going to put that right on there like that. Sometimes when you're in a tight area, you don't want to make too much of a mess. You can back butter it. Then just stick it on just like that. See that? I'm doing the same thing before I go too far with my joints. Now, if you don't want to use a sponge, get yourself a little water on the paintbrush. Go over your joints like that. Real soft paintbrush. That smooths them off real nice. Now it's the next day. I'm looking, I'm just checking my joints. So if I see anything bad, I just mixed up a little uh, thin set and go over them again. Just the bad spots. That is basically our sample. So this piece was just laying in the sun, but it's very flexible. 
And if you wanted to go around corners with it like that, a sharp corner, you could do it. And if you wanted to go and say into an inside corner, like that, you could do that. And if you want to stretch the imagination, it's very flexible kind of stone. It's a good backdrop. So it's just something different to think about. So a little more about the product. This is a the thin set that I use, Versavon Professional Thin Set Mortar. It could come in a different color. I used white. And right here is the box that uh, the product came in. Huh? And it's just flexible. It comes in panels. And just pick it up like that. And I just used very uh, small thin set trowels. So that's it. That's the end of the video. These are my samples right here. And I'm going to leave the company's name and description in the description box. So thanks for watching.